There, he's hanging out. Wow, hola desde Japón. Hola desde Ecuador. Hello, hello. Okay, so Corey said that we were gonna do questions and answers, but I, it's way too late. And I thought it would be faster this way. So I listen. You tell me. Hola desde Quito. Hola desde Gabao. What time is it here? It is uh, 10 9. 10.09 p.m. And some face masks that I bought in Panama. It's a pomegranate face mask. Yeah. Mississippi, Kentucky, wow. Core is around, but we cannot be seen together. You guys will find out everything. It's wow. pretty hard being, <laughs> being on a TV show. It's really hard because like we're not able to say exactly what's happening. Hola, Carlos Javier. Carlos Javier is my friend and he's so nice that he's gonna bring my brand new store for tomorrow from Waikyo because I need to pick it up there and he's gonna bring it for me. It's super awesome. Washington DC, wow, I didn't know it was the same time. That's cool. Oh wow, New Jersey as well. Nice. Yeah, it is the ocean in the background. Ocean is literally right outside. So, yeah. Um, hola, Natalie. <laughs> yeah, I'm really reading the comments right now because I want to know. This is not more like about what I really want to, like, it's not really about what I want to say. It's more about what you guys want to know. So I will answer it. If I'm having kids, no, I'm not having kids. I don't think so. I might adopt kids. Would love to do that. But in the future, way, way future from now. 7 p.m. in Portland, Oregon. Portland is so cool. I really liked Portland when I was there. And the donut. That's a Buddha donut. Oh my god. So good. Yeah, you guys, honestly, this place where we live, like, I was watching the show in Spanish the other day, and there's a part where Corey says, like, oh, part of the money went to Evelyn's apartment, but, like, no, we don't own this apartment. This apartment uh, was, it, it's owned by the owners of the apartment. They live downstairs, and uh, so we used to, we, we rent this place upstairs for $200 a month and includes DirecTV, includes um, electricity and water and we're right in front of the ocean so it's really really awesome. We never have hurricanes here so we're pretty safe. How long did it take for me to learn English? It went with the years. I always like English. I always wanted to learn so I tried with music, I tried with uh, movies and always practice it. So whether um, when, when you want to learn something, you have to practice it. And that's what I did. Every little word I learned, I practiced, and I listened how other people will speak, so I will um, speak the same way. It's not sweat. It's a face mask. It's a tiny face mask. Viva Ecuador, Annie. Yeah, 200 per month, I know. It's pretty crazy. It's really, really cheap. Really, really cheap in here. And food, it's like 250 for lunch, 250 for dinner. It's really cheap in here. I'm really happy in this place. Plus, I can surf and it's really nice. Okay, for the people asking, this is a mask I'm using. It's a um, pomegranate. It only says like pomegranate brining overnight mask. 
I'm not promoting it. I'm just saying that's the one that I'm using tonight. It's my first time. Um, uh, for the people asking about the bar, the bar is still open and I am in the bar every weekend. I'm working always because that's how I pay the rent. That's how I pay my food. That's how I pay my things. Like, I know that in the show some things are safe, but the reality is that I pay for my things. I always have. Um, so, yeah, course properties are on his name. I'm still waiting for him to post the pictures of them because it's not fair to me to, for people to like be treating me like that when I always been earning my own money. I don't make a lot of money, but I make uh, enough money for me to pay for my things, for me to live comfortable, you know, gas for the car, and all these th little things like food for my dog, food for my cat, food for myself, my bills. I, thanks to God, don't have any debts. I don't like having debts, so that's pretty cool. Everybody come visit the bar. <laughs> John, your questions. They're funny. Okay, so the thing with um, this lady, Laura, I don't really want to talk about her because honestly, someone like, she's like 60 years old, right? Like something like that. Or getting closer, I don't know. And to behave that way, means that she's always going to be that way. She's always going to be just like trying to destroy everyone around her. Like, I felt really bad, and I just wanted to support her and be nice to a person when she was here. That's all I wanted to do, and that's all I did. I was able to understand really quickly that she had some issues, and that's why I stay away from her. In the beginning I was like really defensive for her because I thought like I was like oh my god all these people is coming after her um, she's alone her family doesn't want to know anything about her the husband doesn't want to know anything about her so I was like I, I feel so bad so I felt like like I needed to take care of her I went to see her it's so disappointed that she said that the only thing I helped her with was picking her up from the airport because I helped that lady so much the day I got paid from TLC, the first thing I did was take her out on a date. I took her to get manicure, pedicure, fixed her hair, took her out to eat, got wine. All was on me. I paid for all of that because I felt so bad that she didn't, she wasn't paid, and I didn't want her to feel sad or anything. I was visiting her all the time because she was like really depressed and stuff, and. It's just, it's just horrible that now she, I never met someone so ungrateful, you know, but it's fine. Like I never did it expecting anything in return from her. I guess the only thing I will have not seen coming is how mean she became. And now she's like attacking Corey and that's why I want to address it because Corey, it's like, I will always stand for Corey, always. No matter what, I'm always gonna stand for Corey. And whatever Laura says, it's just always a lie. She is just such a liar. I know her. I was with her like so many days of the week, not every day, but so many days of the week. And I know that she will sometimes tell me a story and then completely change it. So it's her version of reality, since she's always drunk, and I'm not afraid to say this, she knows it. Like, she literally buys bottles and drinks it so fast. Um, she needs to... Her reality is wrong. Like, it's not right. And she tried to make me believe that Corey was with some girl and whatever. Like, I believe Corey. I know who Lara is. Just like she said, she was pregnant, which is God. Like, that would be a miracle from God if that was true. But, of course, it wasn't. Anyways, uh, she speaks just really badly about, about me, about Corey, about, about my place, about everything. And I 
don't understand these people. Like I was nothing, then good by then. This other clown that is in there, like talking about how much money he has, he has zero. All the money is from the sugar daddy. Anyways, he would, every time we went out, I pay for all his drinks because he would literally beg me to pay for his drinks. It's so like low for him to even say those things. Somebody that I never knew before, I met him 40 years ago for like a little bit. He wanted a picture with us and that was it. And then like we got reconnected like a few months ago and then it's when all these things went down. Um, so yeah, like uh, I just want her to leave my boy alone. That's all I, like with me it's like, it actually like did affect Corey and it makes me mad because I'm the kind of person that like yeah whatever people say about me I'm more like fuck it okay they they want to believe that somebody wants to believe a TV show let them they are the ones that are not smart enough that's the way I see it but Corey uh, really like you know his family it's really religious he grew up with this all this all these things you know and all these rules and stuff, and for someone to be trying to to destroy his image, for Corey, it's not a, an easy thing, and he was really mad, and I was like, no, just ignore her, but he's, anyways, make that little video, and I just don't like what she's doing, you know, it's like, Laura, like, what more are you going to do to people that wanted to help you, like, seriously, what more do you want to do? To destroy yourself like she knows as soon as she gets done with that new friendship she has which is gonna be done really soon really soon um, she's probably gonna come to us to buy her her plane ticket to go back like that's how broke she is Corey now is paying the bill for her excuse me the bill for her electricity because she got this apartment where supposedly they were gonna share whatever and she left it without paying the electricity, which is the same that she did the last time. Hola, bebé. Que versito a dormir. Ya es tarde. Ask my little brother is in the chat. I'm like, go to sleep. Um, but yeah, Laura definitely has issues. And like we all do. Like, I'm not going to say that I suffer from being, for, I, like mumbling. I suffer from being anxiety too. And like, some days I, I don't feel normal. It's, it's okay. Mental illness is real. A lot of people have it. And and it's fine. But uh, she definitely takes it to another level because she's not trying to work in herself to be better. She wants other people to be as bad as she is, to feel as bad as she feels. And that's not going to work with me or Corey. So, yeah. Just figure I will... I will let you guys know my part on that. It's getting hot in this room. It's gonna be good waves tomorrow. No, Laura has no money. She's lying when she says she does, but like, maybe she's gonna come up with a GoFundMe to take her back home. I don't know. Because I guarantee you, that cheap sugar daddy is not going to pay shit for her either. Jace is the best 90 day blogger. If you don't know him, go follow him. Join Jake's 327 TV. John, I know your Instagram name already. He's the best if you want to know about everything that goes down in the insides. Go with him. I'm not gonna get Laura professional help. She's almost 60, she can get it herself. So like, that's up to her family. To me, I'm done with her completely. I did my best to help her, to be nice, to be supported, and she had written me the worst way possible. I have audios that she sent me, but she treats me so badly, so badly. All I say to her was because the thing with the girl, like before she said it in public, she told me that. And she was really, really mean. And she was like, yeah, Corey got a girl. And and she took her to Salinas and blah, 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 blah. And I know that's not true. You know, when I went to Panama, 
because everything went down when I was in Panama. And then she's like, yeah, and Corey took her to your place and to your bed and blah, blah, blah. It's all a lie, you know, like me and Corey were communicating every day. I know Corey. I know everyone in this town. It's, it's just trying to distract. And how can she talk about relationships when she can't even maintain one? You know, when I'm her age, I'm hoping that I'm going to have a nice home, that I'm going to have my family. Like, yeah, I say I don't want to have kids of my own, but I want to adopt kids. I want to have a home with a real family. I don't want to be like her, just like going around trying to make someone like her for like one month because later on she's going to try to destroy that person. It's just sad. It's really sad. Yeah, Laura wants everyone to be unhappy, just like she is. Unhappy people wants other people to be unhappy. But I can only wish for her that she becomes happy. You know, you attract what you are, so. Definitely not attracting her. Yeah. It's so hard to keep up with the comments. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I... Look, I know a lot of you like don't like me because... Supposedly I treat Corey so badly, blah, blah, blah. But you guys, I think like sometimes people forget that Corey and I, it's been, like we've been in a relationship for more than five years. And after five years of like being like the same, repeating and repeating and repeating things, like you start becoming a little bit like, it's more like, okay, the seat of the toilet. Put the seat of the toilet down, right? And then five years goes by, and this guy still but leaves the toilet, the seat of the toilet up. You're not gonna be that nice when you put the fucking toilet down. Like, don't do that, right? So that's kind of like how it went with the Spanish situation, with like me dealing with everything for him. And of course, it was TV. Like, we were, where? where oh my God, I'm really, really struggling with my English tonight. I'm sorry. Um, me, my family watched the show in Spanish the other day. And they say, they make it look like he did the magic trick and we all just left mad. And they were saying, like, but that's not true. And definitely it's not true because Corey did the magic trick. Yeah, it was kind of a little weird. But then my family was all okay because they love Corey. And then what did we do? We all ate cakes, sing happy birthday, ate the food, the film crew stay, they have food too, they they eat cake as well. But they didn't show you that on TV because they want to show whatever fits the story that they are telling you. And you know, that's like you said, that's how it was. My family is really nice. I'm not a bad person, like why would you think Corey would would have been with me for that long if I was. When I'm telling you I pay my own things, I do. Like, if you guys are such good investigators, like, please go and find out how many money transfers I have from Corey. You're going to find probably one. Once there was a really bad month and I needed help with the rent. Once. One month. In five plus years. Just saying. En el show, ya, yeah, en el show puede decir millón cosas, pero no es la realidad. Y toda la gente que vive aquí en Ecuador y le gusta sufrir, bueno, pueden venir a visitarme a mi bar y ver cómo trabajo de duro, ¿ok? Eso es lo que pueden hacer. Y en lugar, y toda la gente que critica ese pueblito, bueno, el pueblito e igual es Ecuador, así que no tienen que estarlo tratando mal, no todos los pueblos son iguales. Okay, so I was saying in English, some people, they like Latinas, but they, be, they live in another country, whatever, and they are like, oh, but that's not Ecuador, Ecuador is not like that, blah, 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 why do they show such a horrible part of Ecuador? First of all, we almost didn't get approved because the place was too much of a paradise, they say. They didn't want to show too much of the ocean, 
they show more like the town. I, I don't control what they show of the country. We film in one part, and then all the film crew goes to do B-rolling around the town, like finding whatever they want to show you. That's what they do. Like, I am not the one editing, I'm not the one filming. I'm only here trying to show you something, and they can use it the way they want to use it. My little town, as humble as it is, is still part of Ecuador, and you should still be proud that your country is out there somewhere. When I was traveling in Panama, People will remember the name of my town. People will recognize me from this show and be like, yeah, Engabao. You know, Engabao made me feel so proud. It's such a small town. It's out there in the mat for people to see. People come visit to meet me, to see the town. So, in all the bad, that is always good. So, that was that good. El pueblo se llama Engabao. Ya está a una hora y media away here. Joe, with who are you fighting? I don't, I don't, I didn't see, but I just now catching up. Who is Maggie? Why is there people saying Maggie to shut up? Who is Maggie? What is Maggie saying? Purple, purple. Yeah, if you, look, Ecuador has a lot of beautiful places. I'm telling you, Ecuador is really, really cute. I'm really proud of where I'm from. Really, really proud. Really love it. <laughs> it's my face mask. I'm not sweating. Oh my god. Anyways, Smeraldas is pretty far away from my house. Pretty far away. Oh, some Laura lover. There's a Laura lover in my in the, in the live. It's probably Laura herself in one of her fake accounts. <laughs> she has nothing else to do, you know. So that's probably what she's doing. Everyone that visits, when they come here and they contact me, I get a lot of messages, but I do try to like keep up. And I'm gonna tell you that, like, I mean, come on, Corey was in here for five plus years, and like, you're kidding me, you still don't speak Spanish? Like, you have to. What am I supposed to do? Be like, oh, it's okay, I'll speak English for you your whole life, I'll keep doing all the things for you, because I cannot believe that a man like you ever looked at me. Like, I feel like that's what the woman want from me. And, and no, it's not like that, you know, it's not like that. Why did I shame Corey's body? I didn't shame Corey's body. He was the one who brought it up that way in the total. I never knew he was going to say something like that. But the reality is that Corey now has lost like 20 pounds and it's looking really good. When he went to the total, he was pretty heavy and... I'm not here fat shaming anyone, but everybody has their likes, what they like in a partner. When I met Corey, he was way thin, way more toned, way more like, and like all oh, tan from the sun and all that. And that's how I like it. I like him blonde with the blue eyes and like a nice ton of skin and definitely not a big guy. I don't like big guys physically. And that's what it is. And then he got bigger now. Have to communicate at some point, like, you know what, I feel like you gotta, like, stop with this thing or this other thing. Corey will literally buy, like, packages of candies and eat it here. <laughs> I haven't shamed people. Like, if, yeah, like, the thing with the Larissa thing. You don't know the insights of that. I was really mad. I'm still mad about that, and I really would not like to talk about that either. Oh, I can be friends with anybody. I'm just saying the guy that I'm having a relationship. I like the guy to be a little fit. That's it. I, like, Corey's never been the freaking rogue either. Like, he's not like he's super buff or anything. I would say not big. Hi, people from Belize. <laughs> What the fuck is Maggie? 
I don't even see any message from that later. Hmm. How hot is Ecuador right now? Right now it's 28 degrees. So it's pretty hot. But not outside. So yeah. A lucky fee. No, you haven't missed that much. <laughs> John, you look great too. Look, everyone does look great. I'm not here shaming anyone. I'm just explaining you what happened with me and Corey when it comes to that. That's all I'm saying. Like, please chill out a bit. Everyone is so offended these days. Especially in the States. I feel like everyone is so sensitive to things so you don't hear all the things you say to me but so the fans are like oh my god you say that to Corey you're so horrible but how are you better the same if I hang out with anyone else from the show no no, I mean, there's been like a few DMs before, um, between a few of us, and that's it, but it's been basically just them reaching out to me. I haven't reached out any, to any of them now because I wouldn't like to, but it's more like I don't feel like, what am I supposed to say to them, you know? But some of them have been really nice and reached out to me, especially during these moments. They all are backing me up when it comes to the crazy Laura. They were like, Evelyn, like, so sorry you're going through that. Like, uh, you and Corey, like, have us, you know, all those things. A few of the cast members have done that, and I really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Oh, I know Canadians are not psycho like Laura. I met a lot of Canadians all the time, and they are seriously the nicest people. And they're always like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, everything's I'm sorry. They're so cute. <laughs> of course I love for the soul first look a guy can be the best looking guy in the world if he doesn't have personality there's no, no way I'm going to like that guy but you know we can ask for everything we want we can get it Come to Ecuador, everybody come to Ecuador. It's amazing, it's cheap, it's safe. You can travel alone if you want to. It's really, really, really nice country. I'm here to help you if you ever need. It's like come over, hang out. I can set a hotel for you. Like just come over. Really safe, nice, small town. Like I walk with my dog. There's nobody on the beach, it's amazing. There is people on the weekends, that's why I work on the weekends. But the other days I don't. I don't. So it's amazing. I surf, it's really beautiful. <laughs> Someone's like, well, it's not safe since Laura moved there. What is that lady gonna do? She wanted to buy a scooter, but she wasn't able to afford it. Like, she can't even chase you. It's okay. Ok, en español, ¿qué quieren que les diga? La gente me dice, cuenta, cuenta, pero no sé qué quiere que les cuente. <laughs> so, it's like, do you smoke weed? No, I don't smoke weed. I'm sorry. I did try one brownie one time that I didn't know that it had weed on it, but luckily that was before it had anxiety. So I wasn't like that bad. I was like, oh, that was stupid. Like a few things in the ceiling were moving. I mean, my skin felt like I had another skin over. But that was the only time. I don't do any kind of drugs. Corey doesn't do any kind of drugs. I don't agree with drugs. I have, in both of my families, people that have struggled with it. So trust me, it's not something that I support or want around me. Like if my friends do it, like that's their life, they can do it, it's fine. 
but me or my partner, not, it will not work. Yeah, these are the waves. What you hear in the background is the waves. I don't know if you can see. Maybe I'm going to try to see if I can show you the ocean. Hey, Poppy, you want to say hi? Say hi. There's my dog. Say hi. Hi. Okay. And that's my cat being annoying too. So. Let me see if I can just like turn the screen. Can you see the ocean? funny because one time we were filming and the whole electricity went away. So this is really, really cute. Very really nice. When I go to the city, well, I try to always come back home. But when we were doing like some filming, we needed to be there. And I will always miss the ocean when I couldn't hear it. Oh, someone is like, Amber is like, I still don't understand what caused Laura to turn on you so harshly. Honestly, me neither. I did nothing to her. Nothing, never, 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 never did anything to her. So for her to behave that way with me, like I said, my only explanation is that her reality, it's just screwed up. So she's just making ideas in her head. I don't know. That's it. Okay, I think that's everything, right? They're not gonna go to sleep. Oh, goody. No, no me da miedo en la noche porque el pueblo es muy, muy, muy seguro y tengo a mi perrita afuera también. Look, the only people in here that does drugs and is completely drugged all the time is Laura and her new friends. So deal with them. You're gonna see, everything's gonna show through. You know, like I'm telling you, Corey and I, don't, we don't do any kind of drugs. She's just talking shit. Shit people talk shit things. <laughs> I don't own my house. This is a place that we rent. It's 200 a month. And no, but hopefully, and the goal is to have a house before 30 years old. So that's the plan. So the contract thing, um, the show is over, right? In the States, now it's in like Latin America and stuff. But um, so one year after the show was filmed, you get the show renew or not. Laura's didn't, but uh, me and Corey's did. So we got into a new contract. And that happened, hmm, when did that happen? Well, somewhere last year, around like November or so, maybe, pretty sure. But yeah, so we have a new contract going on. Then it's renewed automatically by the choice of the network, not ours, by the network. So yeah. Why did Laura say that Corey was doing drugs? Because she's crazy. I Have you not seen that yet? She is crazy. Really crazy. Like, honestly, when I see... Because, you know, I follow, like, the 90 Day Fiance hashtags and stuff like that. And when I see her face, I'm, like, creeped out. Like, oh. I'm not going to talk about that chef guy because all he wants is exposure. And I'm not going to give him any exposure anymore. Like, he was begging me all the time to put him in my stories and stuff. Just like as he's doing right now with Laura. Um, and I cannot keep being used by that people. Like, you know? So, that's all I'm going to do. Not going to talk about that trash either. You can get lost.
what details do you want with me and Corey? Like, you know a lot. Oh my god, it's so hard with all these comments. I haven't visited England yet, but I'm definitely trying to go there this year or the next year. Because the goal is to travel to five different countries this year. So probably Asia or Europe. But for Europe I need visa, so Oh, Corey does work with me when he's here, in the bar. We both work the bar when he's here. When he's not, I work the bar alone and that's how I pay the bills. Corey and I are happy, thank you for asking. We are happy. Together or separate, we will be happy. I cannot wait till all of this is done and when the contracts are done because I would love to tell you guys lots of things. It will be pretty fun. What I didn't like about living in the States, I just miss my home way too much and I couldn't make friends when I was there. All the people, so I'm used to a way more warm culture. Like here, if you come to a new place, everybody's so welcoming and talking to you and inviting you to things, and, and that wasn't the case. But also, I was in a really small town where Corey was, and more of it was like church oriented. His friends were all like church oriented, most of them, so I wasn't gonna become a Mormon as well, and I didn't. So. Yeah, it, it was really hard for me. Really hard for me to fit in there. There was a little town called Hood River, and that was my only safe place there. But Corey's parents were, they are the nicest people ever. Seriously, the nicest people ever. They always try to make me feel good in there. So for that, I'm really grateful. And Corey really tried to make me feel good there, too. I just... I, I'm someone from the beach. I really it was really hard for me to be in the woods and I wouldn't have made Corey like move to like another state in the States either. Like that would have been so much money and and all these issues and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go back home and we can see how things work and then he came here because he was way cheaper, you know. Uh, me and Corey are now filming for TLC right now. But we did did some filming that you guys are gonna see soon. No, Americans are nice people overall. I'm just saying that where I was, it was a really tiny place and it was really hard to make friends, so I was not too comfy. I know, like now it will be, I feel like it will be more fun to be in the States, but I also don't want people to become my friends because like now I'm on TV or something, like I would like people to get to know me for who I am. Actually, Corey, like he likes bragging on oh, the show. When he meets people, he's like, have you heard about Nighty Day Fiance? Fion I'm in it, blah, blah, blah. And like, but to me, it's like, I never tell anyone that I was on Nighty Day Fiance. <laughs> I like people to know me for who I am, the person I am, completely. No edition, no camera, no nothing. So yeah. <laughs> Good, yeah. Casi primas, pero nunca te conocí. Eso es lo triste. Pero ojalá que pronto. Wow. 
I think I'm gonna go to sleep. You guys are so sweet. A lot of the things you say are really, really, really nice. And I really, really, really like that. I mean, it's nice to hear nice things sometimes. Now, I'm dealing with the Spanish version of the hate. And it's so annoying because I already went through this in English. And now it's like I have it in Spanish. There's like this Facebook group. It's like planning to come to the bar and do things. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, how crazy can be these people? Because it's a TV show that is put out there for you to watch. I used to love Night Day Fiance so much. Me and Corey will record it. Now we'll, we'll be waiting to watch it every Sunday. Me and Corey, all the time. And now it's like, I cannot enjoy it anymore. I, it's so sad because me and Corey never, like we will watch it and enjoy it. And then we'll go to sleep. Like normal life, continue going. We don't go on Instagram like and be all mean. So yeah, I'm just helping people find better things to do with their life. Anyways. I hope you enjoy the show. A la gente en español, disfruten el show. No todo lo que ven es real. Eh, no sean tan, tan llenos de odio hacia una persona que está en TV. Solo está en TV, punto, se acabó. Todavía sigue siendo una persona. Entonces, relájense, señoritas. And I don't think the Spanish people is more harsh than the people in the States. Because the people in the States literally went to even put bad reviews in my business, you know, they they really tried. But I don't really blame TLC that much. Our I, I do oh my I cannot well it's most about the Nadia de Fiance pages. Like Nadia de Fiance related pages. Because in the show, they say one thing, and then they com they completely make a bigger, like, if a page doesn't like you, they are going to make all these memes, trying to put this idea in other people's head about who they think you are. So that's pretty mean. Pretty mean. Anyways, love you guys. I got 100K, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. I... When I got the 10K, I was like, oh my God, this is the coolest thing. And I never got that feeling again till today. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Really amazing. So I'm excited. I'm grateful. Even like there's been so many dealing with this TV show, having my relationships post, having all these lies being said about me. My reputation was never bad, but now it's like on the floor. All these things were really hard and they're still really hard. But I always see the good on the bad. So I'm glad for all the nice people that I have met. I'm glad for all the nice supported women that are out there. I'm glad that maybe a woman can see me on TV and maybe be like, you know what? I'm not gonna take shit for a man either. I'm gonna make myself worth it, you know? Like if I'm not gonna like cry over a man, there's more men in the world. Like I want you girls to love yourselves so much. Because if you don't love yourself, nobody's going to love you. I know everybody says that, but it's really true. So if I can inspire one out of ten to a good thing, of course, then I'll be happy. So I'm excited for what, for the good things that came out of this. Anyways, I hope all of you sleep good. Much love from here. You're always welcome in my little country. And I'll be here for any kind of help you need. I love showing my place. Anyways, love you and have a good night. Bye, guys.